Welcome back to Montreal, Quebec. We live here with Sean Oliver and yours truly, Tarek's bait of North Pole Hoops. In the final game of the night, we have the Team Excellence squad taking on. Cégep Edouard Montpetit, one of the better programs in the Cégep League. Looking for a big season this year. Just tell me a little bit about, Sean, if you don't mind, tell me a little bit about this squad as far as their personnel goes. We well, got some upcoming players like uh, Shanez from Saint Laurent Express. We got Jennifer Louis. We just had number nine there. Pretty, uh, not a bad player. Also, we have Serena, number uh, number twelve. So there's, they're looking to have a big year. That's what I got from the assistant coach, uh, talking about the players to, to watch out for in this game. On this team, excellent squad. It looks like there's some real size as she attacks the rim and finishes right on cue. Definitely, that's Clara Dejnet. She was on the Team Quebec team this year. Got the silver medal. One of the taller girls in the province of Quebec. Good prospect. She's at the free throw line for one free throw. She's got Shanez with the point, the ball right now. Nice take by Shanez right now. We got Kiana. We got a three on two. Oh, we got a carry here. Ref calling a carry on her. Right now, the score is two to two with 22 minutes left on the clock. Good fight here. Good fight. There's a pick. Oh, ref calling double dribble. We got the ball on the sideline right now. Matt Gontier from uh, CCL is bringing up the ball. A dribble handoff to Kiana, Jad Poulain. Nice pass. The stone seems like it's going to be a jump ball right here. Oh, we got a foul. We got a foul on the blue team right now. Jennifer Louis passes to Shanesh, bringing up the ball. Seems like they're going to call a set right here. Double high post look. Shanesh takes it to the rim. Jennifer Louis with the ball. Oh, there's a foul with a push. Ball on the sideline right there. Oh no, they call three seconds there. There the ref call three seconds. We got Leo Bushi from Victoria bringing up the ball right now. We got pass down low. Look at the look at the reverse of the ball. Serena with the ball. What a breakaway and it's a layup. Serena jumped the passing lane. Got a nice layup there. We got Kiana with the ball here, looking to Leah Boucher, to Matt Gontier, looking to dribble, cutting through, Clara, what a nice move. Good energy on the, the Excellence team right now. Dominic with the ball from Edouard Montpetit, trying to penetrate baseline, pass to Brianna, up. Oh. Intercepted, Leo Bush is looking up on the court. A go ahead pass, nice attempt, pass to Kiana. A, sh a shot in rhythm here, that was a good shot there. Good fight. Ball out of bounds to the black team. We got a sub with Wendy from Maison des Jeunes, subbing Leo Bouge from Victoriaville. Now, right now we got Esther, transfer from Nouvelle Francaire to Edouard Montpetit. Seems like they're calling a play right now. Good defense, good defense. Chanez with the ball, dribble handoff to Mary. Mary using her left hand. Oh, nice move. And we got a foul. Two shots for Mary, foul from Clara Dagenet.
A timeout was called by the blue team. Wendy with the ball. Nice take by Kiana, no foul. Seems like she got stripped before going to the hoop. Chenez with the ball. Passes it to Dominic on the wing. Jennifer Louis down low in the post, using her pivots. Oh, ref call three seconds. Nice attempt by Jennifer Louis, just a little bit too long in the key right there. So Tarek, what do you see right now on the court? What's your feeling right now on the court? I mean, obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of new faces, you're, you're more familiar with them than I am, but uh, you know, I'm definitely intrigued by this uh, this girl right here. Uh, this big girl, she she she's got the size, but she's got agility as well, as well as the skill set. You saw her play with it a little bit, just lost it, but here we go in transition. Oh, nice and finish. Nice finish there. Good intensity from Eduardo Montpetit. A couple of girls jumping lane, stealing the ball. Like you said, Tarek, uh, the tall girl, Clara Dejnep, she was second team All Star at the the Nationals this year. So uh, good potential. You got a good eye there. What I do, man. It's what I do. Uh, she's got like the thing about it though is she's got the size, but she's also got the length. Usually these girls, when they're when they have when they're like six two plus, uh, or, or bigger girls in general, they, they they tend to not be able to move well. But yeah. she she's definitely got that agility. And look at her, she's working down low, working for position. Oh yeah, she's definitely a fighter. Wendy with the ball, nice pass to Vivian in rhythm. So they got the ball back at the top of the key. Wendy with the ball, shot, kind of flat-footed there. Esther's pushing up the ball to Chanez. A little two-man game, nothing was developed. Pass it off to Mary in the, on the wing. Mary looked to take a look. Chanez with an open three. Off the board, Mary with a rebound. Inadvertent whistle by the 24 second shot clock. Got some subs in here. Jennifer Louis instructing, directing the girls place, to place themselves. Mary Shirley with a shot. Off the marks, just a bit. Again, I just love how fundamentally sound these girls are. Ball shot goes up. They look to find a body and box out like you. They do everything the way it's supposed to be done. Definitely textbook. They may be a little bit limited physically, but text fundamentally wise, they're they're on par, maybe more than the boys. Uh, I would definitely say more than the boys. Uh, I mean, they can. If I was, if, honestly, if I was a, a, a boys coach at any level, I'd just say come come watch some girls basketball because they can literally learn from them in terms of their fundamentals and how, how committed they are to their fundamentals. Uh, I agree with you. Definitely agree with you. Oh, good defense by Chanez, stripping Wendy there. Tough D, yeah, she was riding her. Call fouled on a call. A foul called on Wendy right there. Jennifer Louis with the ball, oh, Esther with a little hesitation right there. Some of them run a little set. Mary with the ball, Tester in the corner, looking for the post. Oh, a little high-low action with Mary, left hand. Oh, nice move right there from Mary, using her left hand and sealing the girl. Now, Sean, where does, where does the CJEP squad rank on a provincial level? On a provincial level, you no, know, I'd say borderline, a, it's a playoff team. Like, the top six teams make the playoffs. There's roughly 10 teams in the, in the season. Eight to 10 teams in the CJP League, so, you know, they're a playoff team. They brought in a good rec recruiting class this year. They should be making noise this CJP year. I see also uh, Champlain head coach in the building. I know he does a good job on the girls' side as well. Oh, oh definitely. Champlain is one of, one of the top teams also. 
Uh, it's definitely a strong playoff team in the Quebec in the Quebec CJP League. Oh, nice three-point shot by Mary. She's been Tell on fire. Me, is it something that I've done again? Say what? Timeout with at the 14 minute mark. The score is 11 to 4 for Edouard Montpetit. We'll be right back. Here's Campbell. Look out. One hand down. Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. Available at all NPH events. Exposure starts here. Tell me, is it something that I've done again? Say what? Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take it home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, kill him! Oh my god! Top 10, top 10. Top 10. Two way players are the best players. Understand that. Two way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillips, do a jam! Let's go, boy! It doesn't matter from what city you're from, how tall you are, what school, what club you represent, game speaks. There's no politics here. Game will speak. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots... And we're back. Right now on the court for the Team Excellence team, we have Micah from Felix Eclair, Magali Gontier from CCL, Sora Maud from Felix Eclair, Anais from Victoriaville, and we got Leah Boucher from Victoriaville also. Most of these girls are gray, going to grade 10. Micah with the ball, good shooter, a little bit too high. Anais battling for the boards. Chanez brings up the ball. Passes to the corner to Hestai. We got a post up by Serena. Taking care of that mismatch. Good, good box out by Micah. Good job on her. Boxing out of great. Even though Serena's bigger than her, she, she got her body into her and boxed her out. You know, so far what we've seen over the last uh, couple of days is CJET programs, you know, typically uh, creating more and more separation as the game progresses based on their, you know, experience, their size, their strength. Um, in the last game, uh, the boy team, Excellence Boys, uh, almost was able to get uh, a Momo team and, uh, you know, it was tight all the way through, but and ultimately they ended up finishing it. Wow, and one, sorry to interrupt you there, and one for Mary Shalene. She took the foul, took the contact, and went to the rim. She's having a yeoman's game right now. Sorry, check that. That wasn't Momo. It was a St. Foy, my mistake, uh, that they played. And, uh, you know, the huge bright spot for, uh, for St. Foy was Derek Labadi, one of the top point guards uh, in the province. Yeah, he's been on the NPH radar for the uh, last couple of years, I think. Yeah, no question. I mean, he's a kid that's going to end up being a high-level CIS kid, uh, a, a low limit D1 kid. You know, it just all depends on how he continues to progress. And, you know, uh, I think the big one is adding muscle mass. But outside of that, he's a, he's a pretty complete, complete player offensively. What I remember, he could, he could definitely shoot the ball. So, seems to be four seconds on the shot clock. Seems they're going to draw a... Uh, out of bound play here, kind of stacking the ball. Esther's with the ball right now. Nice penetration, nice little take. Oh, nice rebound from NAS. Clara has the ball. They're looking for a point guard. Leah Bushes brings up the ball. Matt Gontley with the ball. Big, big girls ask for the ball, ask them to post up. Oh, nice shot by Micah right there. Just rimmed out. Oh. I love that intensity. Two girls dying for the ball. We got Clara Dejne and Dominic fighting for that ball. Even though it's scrimmage, even though it's the summertime, they're fighting like it's a regular season game. We 
got Dominic bring up the ball. Coach Jeff calling a play blue. So we got a pick and roll here. He's taking it. Oh, kicks it out to Hestai. Kind of short. Clyde has the ball looking. Outlet to try to play in transition. Don't have the numbers right now, but scanning the court. Staying aggressive. Oh, good defensive energy by Sanez right there. Try to get the ball right now. We got a sub here with Sanez for Kian and Jad Poulain. Kian and Jad Poulain with the ball. Matt going to baseline, looking to penetrate. Oh, passing the legs. But it was a good idea. Shot clock, shot clock violation. We got Dominic bringing up the ball. As a CJEP team, you can see that they're trying to run some set plays, getting ready for the upcoming season. We got some transition. He's trying to make a play. Well, they're battling for the board. Oh, Clara got that board. Good rebound from Clara Dagenet. Like to see that intensity, even, even though it's a scrimmage in the summertime, good intensity from the girl crashing the boards. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, I think it's more than a scrimmage uh, for these young girls. It's about you know, proving, it, proving it to themselves that they can compete at that level. And uh, you know, for, for the older girls at the CJEP level, they're, they're, you know, they're making sure that they're uh, using this uh, you know, as practice, but also making sure they don't lose to the young kids. For sure, definitely. It's an ego thing, right? So they're trying to make sure that they're running the proper reps, getting ready for the upcoming season. Clara Dejan hit their both of her free throws. Oh, foul there. Nice take by Chanez, taking it, taking a baseline. Chanez is from the Saint Laurent Express program. They're expecting big things from her from this year. That Express program, uh, as we know, is a powerhouse. Uh, widely regarded as the top program in the province and arguably in the country. Uh, Dan Lacasse, uh, can't say enough about his work in the community uh, on, on both you know, boys and girls side with the, with the Express uh, uh, program. And then obviously just finished the gold, yep. told everyone to respect the queue after the girls knocked off uh, you know, on Team Ontario at Nationals. What kind of game does it say? Tarek, I know you definitely love that quote there, respect the queue. <laughs> We'll be printing some shirts. <laughs> we might have to. We might have to. We gotta get. Gotta make sure we get the the co-sign on there from Mr. Uh, Dan Mr. Lacasse. Lacasse. Oh, nice look from Wendy. Oh, she missed the layup, but she got back her rebound. Well, we got a timeout here. The score is 13 to 8 with 7:25 left for Cégep. Edouard Montpetit. We'll be right back. We've traveled across the country and back. Six years running. Canada's basketball talent blossoms right before our eyes. From coast to coast. It's our job to bring it to the light. No gimmicks, just hard work on the hardwood. Who will step up to the plate this summer? Who will make their game? undeniable and challenge every man in front of him game will speak service the NPH scouting service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility NPH Events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. 
NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance. We got Dominic with the ball, passing it to Chanez. We're looking for a screen with Jennifer Louis. Oh, she slips it. Nice try, but good defense on the blue side. Pass was kind of telegraphed, but it was a good, it was a good, good idea from Sejua Sejepa Duomo Butsu. Oh, got a backcourt violation right there. 13-8. Less than seven minutes to go here. Team Excellence down. Oh, nice pass there. Wendy with the ball. Oh, nice little crossover. Oh, nice take. Unfortunately, couldn't finish, but it was a nice take by Wendy right there. She had everything but the finish. Yeah. Nice crossover game. Found the crack. What we call it in the schoolyard. Million dollar, million dollar move, two set finish. But that, that was definitely a nice move. Dominic with the ball. No, Esther with, sorry, uh, Esther with the ball. Dominic has the ball right now. Out of bound play here. Ball's in the corner to Esther. Nice pick and roll there. Dominic with a three-point shot. Nice rebound by Micah there. Kianas pushing the ball, scanning the court, got numbers. Ah, oh, it was a good look. Oh man, we got a foul there. Nice take there, Coach. Coach Bernard coaching up Kiana, telling her that's a nice push there and scanning the court. It's always best to try to attack the defense when they're not set. So that was a good move by Kiana right there, pushing up the ball. Missed free throw by Wendy. Oh, it's a fight there. Yep. Serena travel with the ball, but it was a good fight from there. Got four minutes and change left in the game. Oh, we got a timeout by Bernard for the Con Excellence team one. Are you looking for exposure? Take your basketball event to the next level by live broadcasting with North Pole Hoops. Promotion, game film, play of the day, and much more. Email us at info at northpolehoops.com for further details. Why do you do it? Is it worth it? The lights turn on. All your questions are answered. Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. Available at all NPH events. Exposure start. The guy beside you wants exactly what you want. What are you going to do about it? Back with the bull, blue team with a side out balance play. Oh, almost got a five second. Oh, that's a turnover right there. 
Shanez has the ball. Nice steal from Shanez. Looking to Jennifer Louis. Looking to take it. Nice pivot. Oh, almost made that shot there. Okay, the, Dominic recovered the ball. Nice pass to Marie. Uh, somebody left the door open. That was an air ball there, but she's been hitting her shots today. Canna, oh, nice defense by Shanez. Nice, nice defense by her. Nice little steal. Surprise Canna right there with the telegraph pass. That was, oh. Nice. Wow, hard. that she went, Jennifer Louie went down hard, but she's. That was a football play. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> she came up smiling. <laughs> she came up smiling. Yeah, yeah. Ball, blue up, blue ball. Yeah. Oh, there's a fight here. Oh, she got pushed off the ball. Serena using her her physicality against her. Vivian was a little bit too soft there with the pass, and uh, Serena got a nice layup on her. No, pass not there. Shanez has the ball, pushing it up, looking. We got Dominic with the ball. Coach, coach calling out a mismatch. Trying to put it down on the post. There's that left hand move, and one, like I said. Nice move by Mary there, using her left hand. Coach instructed them, instructed her girls that they had a mismatch, and they capitalized on it. Sean, you sound like a fortune teller out here. <laughs> I should be playing 649. What is it in uh, Ontario? What do you guys play? Uh, let's let's switch subjects here. Let's talk about uh, your GPS uh, <laughs> navigation <laughs> navigation skills. Uh, definitely gonna tell tell the whole fortune and how to get here, <laughs> how to get to Park X. That'll be another, uh, that'll be another, the next game we'll talk another about that story, one at a time, yeah. Story time with Tarek and Sean, <laughs> road tripping. <laughs> Let's just say the GPS was working, but the pilot wasn't listening. <laughs> Pass to Micah, two minutes left in the game, score nine to 21. Kalaga with the ball, nice move. Oh, nice little floater. Serena with a rebound. Outlets the pass to Mary. Mary gets the ball to Shanez. Shanez scanning. Oh, Mary takes a. Oh, nice take by Mary there. Push on the sideline. Foul on the ground right there. So we got the calling a screen. Oh, nice lecture, nice reading of the play there. She faked like she was gonna take the screen, went the other way. Nice move by Shanez. Got one minute left in the game. Wendy with the ball at the top of the key, using her pivots. Oh, try by. I don't think she is. She is physical. <laughs> She's looking at body defenders and did that time. Unfortunately, the call went against her. Unfortunately, but it was a nice move there, but a little bit too overly aggressive right there. About 35 seconds left in the game. Mary with the ball. Mary, is she still on fire? Oh, barely missed. Leah with the ball, pushing up the ball. Mary plays some good defense. Good defense by Mary right there, forcing her onto her left hand. We got 10 seconds left in the game. Oh, nice seal, a little pass, a little bit too high. Nine seconds left on the clock. Three, two, one. Nice shot. Nice. And the game ends with Cégep Edouard Montpetit, 23 points.
Quebec Excellence, nine points. That was a good game by the girls. We'll be back in the next couple minutes with Team 2 of Team XNLs. Contract, whatever it is that you need to do. So I'm going to take a couple minutes just to describe to you some of the things that I've done in the basketball community in the city of Toronto and abroad. The first thing is I want to talk about my education, where I've come from with regards to where I've studied. I've graduated from the University of Toronto with a Bachelor of Physical Education and Health. This is the foundation that I've learned where it has helped me to do the things that I do in my practice. Our motto here at the Health Institute is exercise is medicine. After completing my education at the University of Toronto, I decided to get into chiropractic school. Most people think that chiropractors only work with the spine, but not this one. I like to call myself a muscle skeletal specialist, which basically means I work with the muscles, I work with the tendons, I work with the joints, and I work with the nerves. All the things you need when you're playing the game of basketball, I'm able to help you with. I like to maintain my level of education by attending seminars and reading peer-reviewed articles. The most recent course that I've taken is called the Functional Range Release Assessment and Therapy Course. This technique is innovative. It's a soft tissue management system that's being used by the Portland Trailblazers of the NBA and the Houston Rockets and Basketball Canada. So these are the tools that I'm keeping myself up to date with so I can maintain my level of expertise when you guys come to see me if you have any questions about injuries. In addition to this, I was a part of the management team that started the first Pro-Am that was here in Toronto. It was called the Maid Pro-Am. So my involvement with the first Pro-Am in the city led me to an opportunity with the Nike Crown League. This was again another amazing opportunity where I was able to work with some NBA basketball players, Euro League, South American League, where I was the actual on-site first aid provider slash team doctor for the event. Once again, I can highlight the fact that I've been at pretty much every basketball event from the greater Toronto area, from Midnight Basketball, Ballin' for a Cure, North Pole Hoop showcases, of course, and this, these opportunities have led me again to work with the senior men's national team for the 2016 Olympic qualifying team. Unfortunately, we didn't get the results that we wanted, but again, these are opportunities that have led me to gain some greater experience, which will allow me to work with you young basketball players whenever you come to see me. I'm also a proud member of the Henry Carr Crusaders prep team. I was a member of their staff as we took home the OPSA championship in 2016. So my experience within the game of basketball is extensive and that's why North Pro Hoops has brought me here to give you guys as much guidance as I possibly can and obviously if you need my help, you know where to get us at drj at thehealthinstitute.ca. So in a nutshell, I'm super excited to be part of the North Pole Hoops team. I'm really looking forward to being available to you guys as a resource for your health so that we can maintain a level of professionalism and get you to the level where you want to be as a basketball player. Let's go, keep fighting. Believe yourself, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Get yours today. Exclusive. Here goes the lob. Quick shot. And will they count it? Will they count it? AJ Lawson! Oh my lord! But AJ's gonna look to possibly end it, and he does! AJ Lawson once again, Captain Clutch, comes in the mix. Gets and it. we're back. We got a fresh group. This is team number two on the court for on the court right now for Clan Excellence. We got Chloe Oliver, Roxanne Macalou, Angeli, Penelope, and Naomi. We got Angeli with the ball right now. A drive to Penelope. Pass intercepted by Serena. Missed layup by Serena right there. We got a we got a Naomi with the ball right now. Nice look. Roxanne with the pass. Ooh. 
We got a foul right there. Ball black. We got Chenez covered by Chloe Oliver from Collège Notre Dame de Lourdes. We got Roxanne McLeod going to Dawson College. We got Angeli at Saint Jean. Naomi Gronko at at Sorel. Good rebound by Penny up there. Outlet pass to Roxanne. Nice take. Oh, nice move there. Nice, nice attempted rebound by Angeli. We got a nice interception by Penelope. Penelope's a little mis miscommunication between Penelope and Roxanne. Those are teammates from Gérard Feuillon. We got a pass here. Good defense by Chloe Oliver there. Oh, on the high low, but three second in the key. We got Angeli with the ball from Saint Jean sur Richelieu. Try to take her off dribble. Looks at Macklow with the jump shot, rebound. Dominic outlet pass to. Chanez, Chanez taking, oh, nice little, has its crossover. Oh, nice pass to Jennifer Louis. Rebound by Jennifer Louis. Oh, there's a foul there. Oh, travel, the ref called travel on that play. Angeli with the ball. They're looking to post up, pin it up. Nice rip through by Penelope. Nice little move by Penelope. Dominic has the ball right now. Three point shot by Chanez. Oh, nice rebound by Serena. Roxanne missed, missed the block out right there, but it was a nice rebound by Serena right there. No passes there, no angle there. Nice fight, nice fight. Shot by Roxanne. Nice fight for the rebound by Angeli. Chanez bringing up the ball. Pass to Jennifer Louis. Try to go down low. Ooh, offensive foul by Jennifer. Good, good defense by Naomi right there. Chloe Oliver with the ball. Pass to Roxanne, nice swing on the ball there. Three points by Angeli. Nice shot by Angeli. Nice three point shot. Chanez telling the girls, let's play, let's play, girls. Nice screen, there's a screen. Nice defense there. Oh, nice. Oh, there's, there's a foul there. But a... I like how the girls are combative on that play. Penelope and Chloe. Got a sub in here now. Chanez with the ball down low. Dominic with a three-point shot. Off. Roxanne takes the ball, gets the rebound. Outlet pass. Nice little pass there. Roxanne looked to take it through. Oh, nice move by Roxanne right there. Showing why she's going to, why she's one of the top players in Quebec.
Got some new subs in. Well, a three-point shot. Ref call travel on that one. We got Esther with Esther with the ball, calling out Blue. Let's see what Blue is. Pass to the ball on the wing. Got a screen here. Turns the corner. Nice move by Chenez. Nice move by Chenez. Nice blow by. Angeli, nobody's picking her up. Taking it all the way. Nice take there. Chenez gets the rebound. Look at the push. Push it hard. Got no. Oh, nice move there. Oh, behind the back, a little mustard there, right? A little bit too much mustard, but it was a nice, nice attempt. Coach telling her to keep it a little bit simple, even though it's a, it's summertime. Oh, tough D, tough D by Chanez right there. Oh. We got a push. Push on the blue. Ref calling a push on the blue. Chenez brings up the ball. Seems like they're running blue again. Turn the corner. Esther with a three-point shot. Oh, yes. Feet set. Nice three. In range. Open and balanced. Nice lead pass to Angeli. Here we got a pass. No. Nice little take there. Oh, nice rebound by Serena, losing her long arm. Esther looking up, scanning, looking, trying to find her open players, open teammates. Serena with the ball to Chenez. She knew Serena's look. Chenez with the ball, looking at the coach to see what the plays, what plays being called right now. Oh, a step back three, almost. Nice rebound there. Oh, football. We got football there. We're gonna pin it up with the ball, bring up the ball against Serena. With the taker. We gotta travel there. Esther with the ball calling a play. Two high pose. Oh! Serena with the ball. Looking at Brianna, down low to, oh, nice steal by, by Roxanne. Look at Roxanne taking it to the rim. Oh, and a foul. Nice play by Roxanne there. Stole, stole the ball and took it hard to the rim. At the line for two free throws. Nice shot by Roxanne. One more free throw. Make her free throws, that's the second one in. Mary with the ball from Edouard Mopetzi. Bringing up the ball against pressure against Roxanne. There's a battle here, we got a battle. Good defense by Roxanne. Chanez looking to penetrate, takes it to the rim. Kind of short, but a nice take. Oh, nice. Nice attempt to steal by uh, Mary. Good energy by Mary. Getting the ball back to Edouard Mopetzi. We got a stack play from here from Edouard Mopetzi. Let's see better execution. Nice steal on from the blue team there. We got a we got a carry call by on the blue team there. Post. Serena has the ball in the post. Ah, Esther relocated, but wasn't high enough to get the pass back from Serena. We 
Olga picked up her dribble a little bit too early. Got ball back, pass to Penny Lup. Penny Lup looking to penetrate, nice take. Oh, nice move by Penny Lup over Serena. Nice move there, a left hand layup. Oh, Chenes miss, Brianna running the lanes, but that's all right, she's gonna set it up, trying to get her down back in the post. Oh yeah, she got the, oh, nice move. Nice steal there. Roxanne with the ball, looking up. Nice pass by Roxanne, nice. Oh, missed the easy, the bunny. But she's at the free throw line. Two more subs in, some fresh legs. Oh, nice take by Alexan there. Luxan, one of the top foul getters right there. Nice take by her. Taking on two of the defenders from Edouard Montpetit. Blue team is up nine to seven. Well, let me correct that, 10 to seven right now. One more free throw for Luxan. Oh, ball rims out there. Black ball. Oh, no. Blue ball. Got a little dissension with the refs, but we got the correct call. Blue ball. We got a problem with the shot. No, we got to reset the shot clock back at 24 seconds. Pin up looking at the pass. Pin up in the corner. Nice pass. nice pass to Roxanne. Roxanne grazes the rim. Shot was off a little. Nice pass, nice skip pass to Roxanne for an open three point shot. Chenez with the ball. Oh, Jennifer Louis. Got a good rebound. Oh, nice. Good rebound there. Chloe Oliver bring up the ball from Collège Notre Dame de Lourdes. Got a foul on Esther on Angeli. We got a timeout off from the blue team. Blue team's up 10 to 7. We'll be right back. At the CNIT. The guy beside you wants exactly what you want. What are you going to do about it? Take this personal. You guys have fight left in you? Then let's go. Keep fighting. To the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. NPH Scouting Service. 
The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. We're back. We had a play drawn out, but it got, there was a turnover on the play. A little frustrating for the coach, drawing up a play and getting a turnover, but that's life as a coach. They're looking to reverse the ball. Jennifer Lewis, nice little move there. Nice take. Nice rebound by Roxanne. Roxanne looking to push the ball. Shot by Angeli. Esther with a layup. Esther looking for a layup. Oh, nice. Oh, nice take. Nice, nice put back by Jennifer. Phillips still has the ball. Ball out of bound. Still blue ball. Shot, nice set play. I've seen that play at North Carolina. Nice fight. Girl with the ball. Shanez bringing up the ball. Shanez split the middle. Nice take by Shanez. Rebound by Chloe Oliver looking to push the ball. Right now, Anjali with the ball. Chloe took it to take a look. Nice take by Chloe there. Chloe Oliver for two shots. Chloe Oliver is one of our younger campers in sec, in grade eight right now, going to grade nine. From Collège Notre Dame de Lourdes. Made her first free throw. and makes her second free throw. Back on defense, the blue team is, has a lead right now. They're running their play. Hester looking, looking, pro, probing, probing. There's a mismatch. There's a three-point shot by Chanez in the corner. Nice shot by Chanez in the corner. We got a tie game right now. Now me with the ball from Sorel with the ball to Penelope. Pass to Angeli. Chloe with the ball. Nice pass. So Angeli with the ball up. Penelope's looking for a shot. Looks good. Oh, almost. Big rebound by the girls. Ball out of bounds. It was a good fight. It was a good fight by the blue team trying to get those rebounds. We got, a, we got a tie game, 12-12, with seven minutes left on the clock. We got a set play call here. On a high post play, Mary with the ball. Nice. Oh, we got steps by Mary right there. Blue ball right now. Pin it up with the ball. With blue with the ball, look at the ball. Looking at the hoop. Yes, we got a foul. Blue team got bailed out there. They're up with the ball right now. With jump shot, looks good. Nice shot, nice shot by Penel up there. Squared it up to the basket, a nice shot. Chenez with the ball. Good defense by Chloe, good defense on the Chloe. Oh, Chloe trying to go for the steal. Chenez with the shot. Oh, nice shot by Chenez. 15-15.
Shanez, nice steal right there. Shanez by herself. Oh, nice jump stop. Nice move by Shanez. Nice power layup. Let the defender go through and two buckets. Najli trying to penetrate. Pin up looking. Chloe with a three point shot. Hits the front of the rim. Nice move. Oh, nice play there. Nice rebound by the blue team. Score 17 17 with five minutes. Five minutes left in the first quarter. One more free throw. Nice shot, 18-17 for the blue team. Mary with the ball, looking in the post to Jennifer Louis. Nice move by Jennifer Louis with her left hand. Asking to pass the ball. Got big man bringing up the ball, pending up with the ball right now. Trying to back down her girl. Oh, right in the pass lane to Serena. Oh, called the foul there. Foul called. Kind of a telegraph pass, unfortunately. Serena was able to capitalize and steal the ball. Oh, nice steal by Pelop getting back the ball. Next play mentality. Ball to Roxanne. We got a two on one. Oh, looking up, looking. Oh, it's a fight here. There's a fight. Jump ball. Blue team. Passing. Passed Angeli. Nice shot by Angeli, two point shot. Now look, Brianna with the ball, falls down. Good fight by the blue team. Even though it's summertime, they're going, they're diving for the ball. Jump ball, blacks, ball. 20 to 19 with two minutes and a half left on the clock. Nice shot by Esther. Good rebound by Roxanne Michael. Looking to push the ball, she got numbers. Nice, oh, nice look there. It was a good idea, girl running the lane. It was good, it was good look. Good look by Roxanne right there. Esther bringing up the ball, calling two. Serena with the ball. And a foul. Serena got the ball and slipped to the hoop, to the free throw line for two shots. She made her first shot, 20-20. Now to break the tiebreaker. Yes, 21-20 for Edouard Mopetzi. Roxanne with the ball with a minute 35 left. Pass to Angeli, dangerous pass to Angeli. Was telegraphed, stolen. Esther with the ball, looking. Ah, a little bit too long with that pass, Esther. She had Jennifer running that lane, that rim runner. Coach saying to protect the rim. Esther with the ball, looking to run the clock out maybe. Esther getting a little pressure. Brianna, oh, nice high low. Serena with the ball, out of bounds. She couldn't control the ball. Fifty seconds. Fifty seconds left. Fifty seconds. Pedro bringing up the ball.
Nice pass. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah missed that ball there. Okay. Twenty-one seconds left. They got a foul to stop. They got a foul to get the ball back. Roxanne came for the Roxanne came for the foul. Roxanne came for the foul there. Three point three point four seconds left on the clock there. Timeout call by the black team by Central CJ Edouard Mopetsi. 3.4 seconds left on the clock. CJ Edouard Mopetsi has a lead 21 to 20. That Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Goes up an alley you! Alamo Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know, what's your story? Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! 2.4 seconds left on the clock. The blue team has to foul to get back that ball. Hopefully they've advised the refs that they're gonna be fouling or trying to steal that ball. Oh, nice backdoor play, Shanez. Layup, game done. Game, set, match, 23-20. Nice set play ran by Jeff. Use their aggressiveness. Use their aggressivity against them. Wow, nice backdoor play. We're we're done. That's the last game.